On a fall afternoon, you decide to close your windows and curtains to watch a movie at home with friends. Hours later, you finish the movie and say goodbye to your friends. You're surprised to find the outside air is so fresh and cool. What has happened? Why is the inside of the house hotter than the outside? Is the heat released by the home theater and your friends the only reason you feel hot? No, in fact, being warm is a feeling not only related to temperature, but also associated with humidity. People breathe out water vapor, and when you enjoyed the movie, you were drinking and sweating. Consider when you are cooking a meal or taking a shower. These activities are releasing a lot of water vapor into the air. Since the window is closed, the humidity level in your house is relatively higher than the outside. Our bodies are pretty sensitive. We can recognize a comfortable zone relating to temperature, humidity, and air velocity. The ideal comfort zone falls within 20 to 80 percent relative humidity and 65 to 78 degrees depending on air velocity. If conditions fall outside of this zone and the air is still, our bodies will respond to it. Clothing also matters. It's possible when the air is calm, the temperature is cool, but the humidity is high, we will still feel warm because high humidity slows down the evaporization of our sweat. Our bodies generate heat every second. If the heat cannot release to cooler air, we feel hot. We know when a material turns from a liquid phase to a vapor phase, it is removing heat from its surroundings. Our amazing bodies remove heat through sweating based on the same idea. Heat is taken away by airflow around our body, turning sweat from liquid to vapor. If the surrounding humidity is lower, or the temperature is lower, or the surrounding air movement is quicker, or any combination is occurring, the cooling effect will happen faster. When the air outside is cooler, you can open the window to let the natural breeze remove the heat from the home. And now you know why your thermostat has an option for fan. Sometimes when you cannot get good natural ventilation, turning on a fan can also speed up the air movement in your house. Since the fan only uses a small amount of energy, you can save a lot of energy by not using the air conditioner. Saving energy costs is not the only reason to use fans and outside air to cool your home. It's also good for your health. Let's go back to the movie afternoon and observe our surroundings carefully. When you close the doors, windows, and curtains to block the outside light and noise, you are in fact also blocking the air exchange. Blocking the fresh air means you're only breathing in and out the air already in the room. As we are breathing in oxygen and breathing out carbon dioxide, the percentage of oxygen inside your house will become slightly lower. You may feel dull or even sleepy because of a higher percentage of carbon dioxide. At the same time, appliances release combustion products and the home's building materials and furniture are releasing contaminants. With all of these gases and particles staying indoors, the human body can become stuffy, dizzy, and even allergic. Now we know when the outside air is nice, we can open a window to have some air exchange. But does having the window open mean the heat inside the home will be removed? It depends on what problem we are facing. Let's think about the powerful solar radiation we discussed before. Is opening a window effective enough to remove the heat from the house in summer? On a summer afternoon, the outside air temperature is 78 degrees. The indoor temperature is 87 degrees, making the house nine degrees warmer than outside. Because of this, a window is opened, allowing wind to enter the house. So how do we get effective ventilation? First, try to open the window that faces the main wind direction of the home. Predominantly, most areas in summer have winds from the south. Therefore, homes with south-north facing windows often benefit from effective ventilation. Air usually flows from the south window and across the house and leaves through the north window. Having two side windows open is more effective than one. 
If there is no obvious wind on a sunny day, usually the air temperature outside the southern part of the home is higher than the north side because of solar heating. Pressure and temperature differences between the south and north part of a home drives air movement. Clear the obstacles in the way of airflow and maximize the space you can ventilate. If windows are not open or clear, interior airflow cannot reach a satisfactory speed even when the outside wind is up to 30 miles an hour. The air movement is not the same everywhere in the house. It tends to choose the easiest way to get out. Obstacles will slow down the speed of airflow and some areas will still be very hot in the summer. An open floor plan is a good way to maximize the ventilation effect. Open your windows and let the natural air flow through your home and your body will cool and stay fresh.